got a dunk shot of me. Pay no attention to it. What, what do you make? Me stupid or something? I don't, I don't. I mean, I got a complaint to register. I'm going to register a complaint. So go ahead and register. I register when I bought it. I might as well register a complaint now. Well, what are you doing to me, Bobby? Wait. Don't get excited. Look. Comes out like this. He's like this here. I push a side up in front of my face. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, 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 People I'm, are watching. How long have you been in? They're in every home room. Take it easy. What are you worried about? Did you read that sign? Uh, that's okay. I don't smoke. Uh, no, no, no. Not, that feels. Uh, we're uh, throwing a birthday party for Hillary Brook. Hillary Brook? Yes. Well, I don't care anything about your birthday party. Just as long as you obey the rules. There's the new rules. But you're are... invited to the party. Well, that's had nothing to do with it. I'm very happy. But these rules and regulations must be obeyed. Number one, no cooking cabbage in the apartments. Number two, no noise, no parties, no dancing, no singing, no playing the radio after 9.30, no loud talking, no banging doors. And oh, boy, will we have fun tonight at the party. <laughs> no, heavy. Gonna happen. What do you mean nothing's going to happen? Well, you got a lot of nose there. Can't we have some fun? I don't like parties anyway. Oh, come on, you're going to come. I'm going to invite you to the party. I don't like parties. They remind me of my age. Oh, forget about that. I don't mind those things. How old would you take me to be? Oh, I'd say you're about 39. I'll take that. I'll take it. You snapped at it. <laughs> you snapped. Hey, uh, what is that no party thing, though? Well, the no party thing means just what it says. You can have your party tonight if there's no loud radio playing after 930. <laughs> See you at the party, boy. Good. Now, you go ahead and invite Hillary Brook to the party. Go ahead. Nobody home. <laughs> Hello, Hillary. How you been? I'm fine, thank you. Why don't you take off your hat? Thank you. I think I will. Uh, Hillary, here's things I want to talk to you about. Oh, fine. Just sit down, Lewis. Uh, sit down. Daddy? No, thank you, but why don't you have one? I've, I've got plenty. <laughs> Hillary. Yes, Lewis? I came over here because I have to invite you to the party tonight. It's your party. Oh, Lewis, how sweet of you. Well, you see, Ab and I are going to give you a party tonight, and we want you to be the guest of honor. Oh, I'd love to go. Not only that, Hillary, but we bought you a wonderful present. Oh, Lewis, I, I don't know what to say. I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's a secret. And another thing, Abbott would kill me if I told you what it was. But Hillary, what I really want to know is, would you do me a favor? Oh, of course I will. You see, we got to go to the market to buy all the food for the party tonight, your party. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to know maybe, would you maybe sit for me tonight? Oh. I mean this afternoon. I would love to. Bingo, you'll mind them? Oh, I'd love to mind Bingo. Because he likes you. I love Bingo. Don't forget, tonight's the biggest night of your life. The oh, party. I'm looking forward to it. What a wonderful present for you. Well, goodbye. Oh, 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 Lewis. Uh, aren't you going to kiss me goodbye? <laughs> huh? I said, aren't you going to kiss me goodbye? Kiss you? Yes. Hillary, I, I like you very much. I like you more than any other girl that I've ever known in my life, Hillary. But when it comes to kissing you... Oh, oh. You know, every time I kiss a girl, and it ain't often, it doesn't seem to do nothing. I don't have no effect on a girl. Oh, Lewis. Oh, now, now, why don't you try it with me? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Oh, come on. Does this affect you like that? No, Lewis. You were standing on my foot. Oh, 
boy, that's fun. Now, let's see. That's why I like to come to the market. We got pickles, we got frankfurters, beans, ketchup, uh, bananas, bread. Yes, we're all... I, we... Hey, Felix Herman. Felix? I'm going to invite her to the party. Hey, but hey, Felix. Now, look, you do the rest of the shopping. Get some uh, dessert or something for here. Okay. Hello, Felix. Hello, Ben. What's cooking? Good looking. I want to ask you a question. What do you want to waste time for? I got all the answers. Felix. <laughs> Don't take those for a buy them at all four. Ah, you're kidding. That's why I always do my shopping like this. Uh, uh, you don't see any of them falling, do you? Take them from the top, that's when it's... I just jumped across the street to buy something special for the party tonight. What time is the party? About 8.30, but you don't have to buy nothing. We're buying everything here. 8.30? What time is it now? 12 o'clock. Well, you're wrong. You better set your watch by the big clock up there in the wall. Yeah? Best way to keep the time. It's it's four o'clock. Nothing like being active. Six o'clock. Boy, did this afternoon go fast. Always eat. Can't wait for the party. Why don't you blow your horn? Why didn't you stick your hand out? I was... Where are you going? I'm sorry. Wrong head. <laughs> I wish you'd come to the party tonight. I guarantee you'll have a marvelous time. Rich. Oh, lady drivers are all alike. Clumsy ox. I see it here. What's the matter with you? Hiya, Felis. Hi. Felis. Hey, I got a lot of stuff here. Yeah, I can see that. You forget anything? No. How about some cigarettes? Never use them. How about a cigar? Never use it. How about some wine? I never use it. How about a bar of soap? I never use it. Hey, hey, Get yourself hey. out of that one. Huh? Smart kid to use. Go ahead. Put the stuff on the counter. Invite it to the party? Uh, yes. Uh, but uh, she didn't want to come. I don't know why. Felis, I wish you'd change your mind. You'll have a lot of fun. Sure you will. You'd add class to the party. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll have a lot of fun. You're witty and you're smart. I'm listening. Not only that, she's a, she's a girl. Certainly. You know I like it. You, you know? You like a girl? Huh? Will you stop? Put the stuff up there. And every time I look at those beautiful eyes of yours, they remind me of two... Tomatoes? Tomatoes. Uh, will you stop it? <laughs> yes, all right, put them down. Good, good nice ones. Yes, put them down there. And your ears. Those two dainty little ears. Oh, I can see nothing but... Cauliflower. Of a cauliflower. Put it down. Hey, I'm a cauliflower. Put it down. <sighs> hey, all right, all right. Quite a cauliflower ear. <laughs> and your hair. A 
that gorgeous wavy hair of yours. Every time I look at it, I can see string beans. String beans. Every time I how much it cost? Knock them down. String. I want to know how much the stuff costs. Never mind. She'll tell you in a minute. How much it costs? String beans. Shrimp, Later. Please. I think she's intriguing with you. Wait a minute. Oh, Something. look, Bud. Why don't you just forget it? Now, Felix, I'm on the level. Believe me, everything I'm saying is strictly baloney. Baloney. I. <laughs> Play it now. No, no, not now. We'll use it to entertain the folks and also for dancing. Then, then after that, we give it to Hillary for a present. We'll surprise Hillary with it. See? That's, a, that's a beautiful. Look. Oh yes, yes, that'll be fine. She will love us. We're gonna play games too. What kind of games? Oh, all kinds of games. Oh. Didn't I ever tell you about my handkerchief trick? Oh, wait a minute. You've got to see this one. You see, we have a handkerchief here. Now, the idea of this is, I place this on the floor. See, so I'll explain it to you up here. Now, you stand here on on the handkerchief on that side. I'll stand here on that side. And you can't hit me. Can't even touch me. I get right. What? You stand here. And I'll stand over here, and you can't even touch me. I'm gonna stand over here, you're gonna stand over there. You mean I couldn't even put you in the nose? No, and no. And I'm only that far apart? That's right. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait up, put the handkerchief down. Are you kidding? Well, we make it interesting. Go ahead. I'll bet you 20 cents. But you can't do it. Okay. 20 cents, put it down. Now, I'll place this on the floor. Yeah. And you stand on one side, and I'll stand on the other. Oh. Come on, now watch it. There's the handkerchief. Yep. Now, here's the floor. <clears throat> now, keep your eye on it. Now, you stand on one side, I'll stand on the other, right? You, I stand on like that. Now, now, there. Hold it. You got it? Now, you stand right there. <laughs> yeah. Are you standing on the handkerchief? Yeah! Go ahead, try and punch me in the nose. Go ahead. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Can't do it, eh? So you couldn't do it, eh? <laughs> uh, how do you like that? Is that a dandy? Ah, you what, what, what are you going to do? What's what? Come on with me. Come on with me. What's up? Now let me get this straight. I stand on one side of the handkerchief, you stand on the other side of the handkerchief. And you want to bet me 20 cents that I can't punch you in the nose? You got it straight, Mr. Fields. I'll put the handkerchief down on the floor, see? I stand on one edge of the handkerchief, you stand on the other edge of the handkerchief, and I'll bet you 20 cents you cannot punch me in the nose. Now hold the money. Right. There you are. There's the money. Come on, put up your money. <laughs> There's my friend. Come on! <laughs> oh, it's a Lulu. It's a Lulu. No. Let me close the door now. All right. Now, what I tell you, now stand on the edge of the handkerchief. All right. You want to edge of the handkerchief? Yeah. Now, go ahead. Try to push me in the nose. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Fields. Now, let me get this And you know what today is? Today is Hillary Brooks' birthday. You didn't know it, you see? You Hillary didn't... Brooks' birthday! Certainly. You shouldn't forget those things, Lou. Oh, boy, yeah, but I would love to give Hillary Brooke a nice birthday party. Hey, now, that's a beautiful thought. Can't, though. What do you mean you can't? What's to prevent it? You know, the landlord, Mr. Fields. Oh, worry about... He don't like us to have no parties. You know that. Yeah. He's always complaining about the noise we make in our room and everything else, and he won't let you have any parties. There's a reason for everything, Lou. I don't know, but I don't know what his reason is why he won't have any parties. I'll tell you the reason. Yeah? You let him get away with all these things. You're afraid to speak up to him. Stand on your two feet and talk to him. Now, if I want a party, and that's what it's going to be. You think so? Certainly. And you see, he'll... With her right there. I got news for you, Ab. What? I'm not afraid of Mr. Fields. What do you mean you're not? I am not afraid of Mr. Fields. Don't tell me that. Well, I want to tell you something right now. I'm going to prove that I'm not afraid of Mr. Fields. Prove it. Yesterday, in the room, yeah. the water was running over the top of the bathtub, under the floor. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened? It was running outside of the bathtub, all over the floor. So I went over to Mr. Fields' apartment. Uh -huh. I opened up the door and I said, Mr. Fields? The water is running over the bathtub onto the floor. What are you gonna do about it? You, uh, you told that to Mr. Fields? I told that to Mr. Fields. What did he say? I don't know. By the time he got home, I was fast asleep. That's right. <laughs> Well, 
Now, folks, you know why we're here. This is Hillary's birthday. And may I suggest a toast? Hillary, may you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Thank How's you, Bob. That's all good. That's all good. That's I thought that was a very good toast. Sure. Hey, Hillary, don't I look like the little housewife? Oh, you certainly do, Lily. I think I do. You know what? I think I'm engaged. Uh. Oh, Lewis, congratulations. Who too? Frankly, I don't know. But you see, this morning, I was in Mr. Fields' apartment and I was helping his wife wash the dishes. Mm -hmm. And I was bending over the sink like this and I was washing the dishes and the milkman came in and kissed me. Oh! I think I'm engaged to the milkman! I'm only kidding. <laughs> Give me old Coney Allen hot dog business. <laughs> hey, uh, you mean with the uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. uh, Mike, would you like a hot dog? Oh, yeah, I love Wheaties. <laughs> yes. Uh, do you want some mustard? Oh, yeah, lots of mustard. Yeah. Like plenty of mustard? Yeah, lots of mustard. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, that's your good. These are real good hot dogs. Yeah. Hey, yeah, Mike. Thanks. Thanks very much. <laughs> hey, Mr. Westbrook, maybe you like a hot dog? Oh, I like it. Sure, like a hot dog. Come in, Penny, Penny. You like what's the matter, Oh, nice, and must have Okay, please have plenty of money. Hey, well, my lads. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> A little dry. This is a little dry. I think I'll have a pickle. A pickle? Hey, yeah, a little dry. Hold it. Yeah, what? You sure you're gonna have a pickle? Yeah, I want the pickle. Well, okay. This is a little dry. I'd like okay. to have a pickle to but go with. But before you have a pickle, you see this thing? Yeah. That is my new invention. The pickle compass. Pickle compass? Yeah. You see, I don't want you to get hurt. You take this here and you stick it inside there, and, and that's the pickle compass. This tells you which way the juice is gonna squirt. Now all you do is like this. You first you put the pickle compass in, and then you put it in your mouth like that. <laughs> Now look, you don't have to throw it on the floor, you don't have to be so sloppy, do you? Well, boys, you... <laughs> Again. Again, you... I don't want any part of you or your party! <laughs> what happened to him? Well, look, we can't break up the party now. Uh, forget about it, boys. Come on, it's all in fun. Let's have a, a dance. How about a dance? Oh, I'd uh, love to go dance. Go ahead. Uh, play the music. I want to dance, too. All right, later on. We'll Wait, you want to dance with everybody? Uh-huh. Who's with first? Everybody. Who's first? I'm first. I'm going to dance with Bud first, then I'm going to dance with Mike, and then Butcher go loop, and then I'll dance. Go ahead. Sit down, boys. I hope you don't get tired. I'm first. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> put on some music. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Play the music. Go on, put it on. Go ahead. Dance. saw the rules I posted today. No loud playing of radio after 9.30, didn't you? Well, keep that turned off. Now, if it isn't off, you'll hear from me. <laughs> uh, pardon me just a minute, Hillary. Oh, surely, Bud. Why did you stop playing? Mr. Fields said turn it off. Because Mr. Fields said turn it off. That means you have to stop playing. How do you expect us to dance? Hillary wants to dance with Mike and Butcher Galoo. How about they got rules in it? How can they dance without music? What rules? What rules? He posted the rules. I'll, I'll sing. Do we have to listen? Go ahead and dance. Play that thing. Stop worrying. Go ahead, folks. Dance. Play it. Go on, play it. What's the matter with you, Mr. Field, a landlord? What's the matter with you? What are you afraid of him? What's the matter with you? You're, You're the man. He owns your apartment. So tell him off. Just a minute. That's the landlord. We're the tenants. The best tenants he's got. All we owe him is about six months' rent. Where's he going to step out and find people like us? Never. You're an American citizen, aren't you? You'll pay your taxes. Turn it on. Turn it on. Go ahead and dance. Come on, come on, come on. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? 
The next time I come in here, if I have to, I'm going to get rough. Keep it off. I can play no more. Go on and play it. What are you worrying about? I'm here. What are you doing, Mr. sitting over there? Now, wait a minute. Just because you two want to play, I don't want that. You've got guests here. They want to dance. Mr. Fields said, don't play that kind of rule. Don't That's play it. That's your whole trouble. You listen to Mr. Fields. Listen to me. Who's your buddy? You, Bill. With... That's all. Why don't you get your buddy off that there thing over there? Come over and help me when the guy... He's coming around and me all over the joint. Ah, oh, stop. He's only kidding. He can't get away with that stuff. I'll stand right by here. Go ahead and play. Go on, dance, folks. Go on and play. Stop worrying about him. Who's I'm it? here. Who's it to get? I wonder. Let a guy like that get away with that. like your partner. Look how he sits. A gentleman, quiet, doesn't make any trouble, but no, you! Now, if I have to come in here one more time, I'm gonna punch you right in the nose! Did you hear me? In the nose! Swine! Oh, you imbecile! You will listen to him. Hey, what's the matter? What's the matter? Hillary and I want to dance some more. Turn it on! It's a big idea. What's a big idea? Come on, turn it on. We want to dance. I want to dance. I'm telling him. Look, Mr. Fields don't like me to turn the music on. He said he'll punch me in the nose. Punch you in the nose. Come on, I want to keep dancing with punch Hillary. Punch me in the nose. Let me tell you something, Mike. Nobody can punch me in the nose if I don't want him to punch me in the nose. What are you doing? Don't punch you in the nose. I'm a bitch of God. Nobody can punch you in the nose, huh? <laughs> hey, nobody can punch me in the nose if I don't want them to punch me in the nose. They can't, huh? Would you like to make a 20-some bet? About what? You can't punch me in the nose if I don't want you to punch me in the nose. And I'll show you very simple standing like Get that. Get out your 20 cents. Get give out your 20 cents. Give the 20 cents, cents to Mr. Abbott. All right. I'll give I'll him give the 20 cents. All right. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, right. Abbott, let me have Hold the handkerchief for a minute, please. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> now, you see what I do? All I do... <laughs> What's so funny? What's so funny? <laughs> now I put the handkerchief on the floor. Now you stand on that edge of the handkerchief over right here. here. And I stand on this side the edge of the handkerchief. Now you go ahead and try and punch me in the nose. Oh! <laughs> Wait a minute! Whoa! Whoa! Going. What are you doing? I'm going to show you the whole thing now. You can't punch me in the nose by standing on the handkerchief. Now what? <laughs> I'm going to put the handkerchief right there like that there. Now you see? you got to stand on one edge of the handkerchief, I'll stand on the other edge of the handkerchief, and you cannot punch me in the nose. Uh -huh. I'll put it on the other side. Right on the side. Now, now, just you should stay over there. What are you doing? Now you get ready. Now stand on the edge of the handkerchief. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm You stand on the handkerchief? Yeah. Well, go ahead. Punch me in the nose. Well, you did it again. Go and ruin a beautiful party. A beautiful party just because your jealous disposition. Well, I can't help it. You were dancing with Hillary. Now, why should you be jealous of that? Because she's the girl of my dreams, Hillary. Ah, stop it. Why break up a party because I dance with her? I don't mind, though, bud. I don't mind. You don't mind? No, bud. You can have Hillary. What? What, what, what happened? I found out today at the party that her father's a very, very wealthy man, and that makes Hillary a very, very wealthy girl. So and what? I don't want to marry no wealthy girl. You don't want to marry a wealthy girl? Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Why not? Why not? She's apt to run away. Well, uh, a poor girl's apt to run away too. But who cares? Who cares? <laughs>